Uh, we can define many-to-many, one-to-many and one-to-one -one relations between models and fields. And the example that I showed to you was presented with different models which are in relations with each other. But I also want to show you that you might have only one model and you can have recursive relations between this model and itself. So, for example, uh, let me show you the one-to-many relation. So here we have a model person and the person can have a mother which is also a, a person. So in this case our model person relates to itself in one-to-many relation. So that means that a person can have only one mother but mother can have you know as many children as possible. Here I already in the shell uh, define the mother which uh, doesn't take any parameters and I saved her and then I defined son uh, with this mother and I also can create son number two with the same mother and right now what we have is that we have one mother and two sons so it's one to many relation and I can also show you many to many relation and it will be for example siblings right so here many to many field again um, if we want to define that the, re the relation is actually with itself then we write string and write self inside the string as a first parameter and let's actually we don't need that but we might need this and yeah so in this case uh, again the person can have many brothers and one of his brother can have also many brothers. So this is why it is many to many relation. And we can also have a one to one relation. For example, if we want to define that the person can have a partner. One to one field, self, And in this case, if the person have a partner, then his or her partner uh, also can have only one partner, which is him. So I know it's a little bit confusing, but this is recursive relations, so it might be confusing. And one more important thing to mention is that we have an option which is called related name. And basically, if you have a son and we want to find out what is the mother of the son, we just use mother. So in this case, if we create mother and then we create a son of the same model, You know we can just print son mother right because son is the son is a object of the class person and it has mother field so it's really easy but if you take mother it's also basically the object of the class person but it doesn't have any sun field right but we can bypass that uh, Django actually has a algorithm which actually enables us to 
find the son of the mother, right? So go uh, in the reverse way of this relation. And for that, we actually need to change the related name. Let's just write it something like that to uh, not have a clash of names. So let me open the shell and uh, let me create, for example, Mary, which will be person objects create without any parameters and let's save it and let's say that John is the son of Mary so we will specify mother as Mary John will be saved so of course as John Uh, as John is the object of the model person, it should have mother. And we can actually look up for the mother of John like that. And well, it will be Mary, basically, if we uh, deconstruct this person object. But now, as we have related name, we can also look up the son of Mary. In this case, we should do Mary son and then get. And we would have this person object, which is again actually a John if we deconstruct that. And we can use that uh, with other fields too. But I guess you already understand how, so this was it and I hope this lesson was useful.